Welcome to this online presentation by Clara Now about post flight solutions for online packaging decontamination and especially for closures in the dairy industry. I am Morgan Bissnell. I am in charge of marketing at Clara North, and together with my colleague Anthony Heron, sales engineer, we will try to give you an overview of the technology and its applications. Hello and thank you for joining us today. After a short introduction of the company Clara North, we'll give for those who wouldn't know post flight yet a brief description of the physical principle of the technology and its effect on the microorganisms. We'll detail then the industrial application existing for closure and cup treatment, and finally, the commercial strategy of the company. We'll then introduce the partnership with CIRAC, which is a French equipment supplier. CIRAC integrates salt light in computing lines in the dairy industry. A focus will be made on an, ind on an industrial case after that. We will pay a visit to a French dairy product manufacturer equipped with a CERAC feeding line who has integrated the post light technology in 2010 for its closure decontamination. You'll be able to see a video of the feeding line in function with post light and to get the testimony from the company. To begin with, a few words about Clarana. It was funded in 2004. It has always been located in the south of France and has established its main office and production workshop in Avignon since last year. The activity of the company is the production of pulse light units for industrial use, especially online packaging sterilization. 20 persons work at Claranor, among them engineers in optics, electronics, and microbiology. Our ambition is to offer dry and non-chemical solutions for surface decontamination to the industrial through equipment using the technology of pulse light. By obtaining decontamination levels up to six log on surfaces at the laboratory scale, we've been able to position pulse light as an alternative to existing treatment used in the food and beverage industry, such as chemicals or irradiation. That, that's why we say that pulse light is a clean tech. Exactly. The industrial applications of the technology up to today concern cap and closure treatment and cap decontamination. Now, for those who don't know the technology, Anthony is going to give you a short lesson of pulse light. Pulse light is high power from low energy. How does it work? Energy is accumulated in a capacitor, then a high voltage signal sparks arc formation. An arc is highly ionized gas with strong current. This arc starts the flash of intense luminosity. The gas used inside the lens is xenon gas because of, it, because of its capacity to convert electrical energy into light energy. The flashes present a continuous spectrum. They are very rich in UV light and they last a few hundred microseconds. The housing of the lamp is made of quartz, so almost no optical energy is wasted. The flashes are controlled and concentrated by aluminum reflectors. They are specifically designed for each application. The peak power of one flash is around one megawatt. This power is obtained by dividing the electrical energy stored in the capacitor and delivered to the lamp by the pulse duration. Thank you, Anthony. And now, can you tell us about what happens to the microorganisms? Pulse light has a completely destructive effect on microorganisms, thanks to a combination of two phenomena. First, the sterilizing effect of UV. The DNA, the DNA in the cells of microorganisms absorbs the UV rays. This absorption provokes the rupture of the double strand of DNA and also the formation of abnormal single strand bonds. This action prevents DNA replication, so the microorganism protein production and cell metabolism is blocked and it dies. 
The effect is combined with the power of the flash. Intense energy delivered in a very short time increases these little effects. Spot light has a completely destructive effect on a wide range of microorganisms like bacteria and molds in either vegetative or spore forms. That is why we speak of spot light sterilization. Validation trials are done generally with Bacillus subtilis or Aspergillus niger as an industrial reference microorganism. Now you can see on the graph the first light efficiency on Bacillus subtilis and Aspergillus niger spores spread on the polystyrene surface. For these two microorganisms, we, we reach more than five log reduction in only one flash. Actually, these results were obtained during a PhD work led in collaboration with INRA, the French National Research Institute for Food and Agriculture. About the experiment now, the composition of a standard post light unit is as follows. The light is produced in the optical cavity. It contains the reflectors with the lamp. The reflector focuses the light from the lamp on the surface of the packaging to be treated. Lamps and reflectors are cooled by a water cooling system. The other part of the equipment is the electronic cabinet. It contains the charge and the discharge module which generate the electrical pulse to ignite the lamp. The equipment are fully designed by, by Clarano. The reflectors are the critical components. They are enabling to optimize the efficiency of the treatment with salt light. These reflectors are mobilized thanks to computer tools to fit the shape of the closure. Actually, all types of closures can be decontaminated with flammable equipment. Flat or spot cap, with or without foil. A large range of reflectors is available to comply with the closure constraints. The performance of the technology is measured by challenge tests. We've just begun to publish on our website the contamination results obtained on various closures in agreement with the cap manufacturers. You will find this exclusive information in the application part of our website on the cap page. Now let's take a closer look at the industrial application of full slides. Three to five log reductions are obtained on closures treated online. It depends on the size and shape. Therefore, a third slide unit for closure decontamination can be integrated usually just above the cutting machine on a filling line for ultra clean or extended shelf life products. This can be sensitive products such as juices, milk, yogurt, or other products with preservatives. On this application, the technology can, can advantageously replace treatment with hydrogen peroxide, peracetic acid, or irradiation. As of today, Clarano has installed itself and with its partners more than 30 units worldwide, worldwide for flat and spot caps online disinfection. As to cap decontamination with first light, it has been implemented at the industrial scale more recently, the challenge being to adapt the treatment unit to the various shapes of cuts and number of rows on the lines. With the same efficiency as for closures, the technology complies with the hygiene requirements for sensitive dairy product packaging as refrigerated products with a shelf life superior to 21 days. For those applications, First light can be integrated just before the filling and replace the chemical treatment. There are four installations running on such industrial plants in France and Germany today. For closure, as for curb sterilization, using first light presents significant assets. First of all, performance. Reaching three to five log reduction on bacterial spores and molds, first light outperforms continuous UV and equals the efficiency of chemical treatment in many products. 
capacity. This is especially important in case of upgrading of existing lines on which a post light unit can easily be integrated without great modifications of the line. Post light is an instantaneous treatment. This is true in two ways. First, there is no eating or preparation time. The post light unit only has to be switched on to be ready for flashing. And it is also true because no exposure time is needed. A packaging element such as a closure or a cup has to receive one or two flashes to be decontaminated and this takes only a few hundred microseconds. Finally, from an economical point of view, the advantage of Pulse Light is its limited running cost. No extra cost for transportation, no storage, no water or heating energy needs. The light is all there is. So running costs are limited to lamp change and electricity consumption. And then of course, as we speak of the clean tech here, there are the environmental benefits of the technology in comparison with existing technology. That's true. No chemical products, which means no residue hazard and no chemical related nuisance in the industrial plant. The technology only needs water for its cooling system, which functions in closed loop. So the overall water consumption of the system is very low. And then, as already mentioned, no heating or preparation is needed. The energy used is the one which serves to generate the flashes. And it is insignificant compared to the wall line energy consumption. Now let's see how Claranor equipment are distributed. Claranor is located in France, and our commercial team, like our equipment, is compact and efficient. We are able to answer any request from an industrial end user around the world, and all our team can discuss a project and perform an installation, all in English, including documentation. However, we are currently developing a network of commercial partners, distributors, and agents. This network will hit the cover of the wide world market and the guarantee of an efficient and reactive service. Partnerships exist for the distribution of Claranor equipment in the US, in Germany, Switzerland, in the UK, Poland, South Africa, and Korea. We'll detail this list at the end of the presentation, and you can also find all the contacts on our website. Besides the main equipment suppliers, in the beverage and dairy sector, purpose now the integration of pulse light units in complete filling line for products we've detailed before. Ferrag Group is one of those equipment suppliers, and we are now going to show you how to integrate pulse light by 